What do we have here? It's a Nodens in the distance. Here we go. Hit him, and then fire, activating triple damage. Boom! Oh! Dude, I just I just did 70% damage to this Noden because somehow the game counted a double hit. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to my favorite build in War Robots, even on my own account, by the way, the Vortex Typhon. As you see here with fully maxed Vortex with Overdrive and the intensified drone damage for 300% damage when we hit. I know some of you guys are sad that uh, I replaced the Vortex Spectre with a Typhon in this case, um, the Typhon uh, Vortex now, uh, but keep in mind, why are we playing the Vortex builds, right? We're playing them to make the biggest possible boom, alright? And that biggest possible boom you can really only do uh, if you have something that reliably uh, prevents enemies from using phase shift, right? And the uh, uh, Typhon is the only robot that deactivates phase shift, that deactivates all those things. Look at him. Boom. Double damage activated. BAM! And there was nothing he could do about this. He would have activated his ability. He would have been running fast. He would have activated phase shift, right? All of those things he would have done to prevent the hits. Uh, and I wouldn't have done this awesome hit if this was the fan a, a, a Typhon robot. So yeah, this is why this is the setup I want to play for, um, for Vortex. Alright, so wow, this guy's having fun over there. Mm, okay, he's getting killed though. Let's see what we have here. Alright, I was unable to hit him. He's face shifting, okay. Now he's going to uh, to do his ability, I guess. Right? Not yet, he's not yet doing it. Alright, now his ability is running. Thankfully a hawk is on him. Because that means we can ignore his, uh, his resistance with that hawk. Okay, what do we have here? That's enough. Boom. Got him. Let's try and capture this. Chang, got him. And no oh, wait, I didn't get him because the Ravana was actually, um, he had anti-control. Which is the only thing that uh, prevents, uh, prevents me from doing this, right? So, double face shift here to get out of the way. Three hawks in the air, that's crazy. Fire and boom. Even without double damage. So now that overdrive is running, we can actually do the 300% damage. There's a phantom behind me, wonderful. As uh, Scorpion, I mean. There he came from, okay. And bam, bam, bam. Nice, I got the kill. Let's get back in cover. I still need to take a little damage for the overdrive to really be a active forever. Fire, that's it for him. Uh, I mean, for his last stand. Boom, nice. Got him down to last end. Boom. I hit him, right? Let's try and hit him hard. Boom, and that's it. But All these things, they're only possible because it's a Typhon robot. Okay. He's flying up. I'm trying to be safe here, but it's not so easy to be safe when there are only hawks. I see nothing but hawks, dude. Jeez. Alright, this guy, when he lands, okay? He's locked. He's landing. Tack, tack, tack. That's it for you, man. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. And there is absolutely nothing else than hawks in the air. Unreal. He's locked again. When he falls, pop, pop. That's the first one. Then last stand, pop. That's it for this. Boosh. Nice. Uh oh, it's a, t it's a scorpion. Got him. And boom. Nice. Yep, he lost some heavy health. Boom. I hit him again. Now I'm in a trouble, but uh, I would have killed him now anyways, even without my hawks. But uh, that was cool. That was thanks for the backup anyways. Boop, boop. Beyond godlike even. All right, nice. This guy's going down. So... How about a 300% a, a hit against uh, a flying titan? He's locked. Fire and 300%. Boom! Oh, man. And I think this is actually a relatively decently well-leveled uh, Ao Ming right there. I think I'm going to die now. 
I don't think I have a chance of getting out of this again. Boom. I hit him, but I have the Titan on me and everything else too. But uh, that was pretty fun. So let's jump uh, quickly into our Titan. See if we can end this match here real quick. If it's a win or a loss, I really don't care. I just want to jump into the next... Uh, next Spectre. No, no, Typhon. Of course, you usually don't end up on first place with this setup, right? You just aren't the damage dealer that an attached Atomizer or a Havoc setup is, for example. But you can do important kills and take out people that otherwise would, you know, would take a lot of effort to kill, especially with a combo uh, of Typhon, right? So here we have an enemy Hawk. He's going to fly. All right. I'm trying to go and get him locked, which worked. And once he then finally falls down to the ground and lands, I'm going to be trying ready for it. And fire. And activating double damage. Boom! That's what I meant with taking out important targets that would otherwise require a lot of effort to kill. But with this particular setup, it pick, are, are, are possible to take down relatively well. Okay, maybe I can make a hit here. Oh, he's, okay, he's face shifting then. All right. See, this is what I mean. Without the, the ability to deactivate the face shifting of the enemy, it's incredibly difficult to even make the tiniest hits. Bam, 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 bam. Nice. I got him almost. <laughs> okay, I guess I won't be able to hit this guy anytime soon. Although maybe I am. Um, you see Meta in the distance there. He wasn't actually attacking me, which is cool. He's actually like, he's, he's cool. He's not shooting me. And I was not shooting him either. I could have, but I didn't. And pop. And then one hit kill here. Boom. Another hawk in one hit down. That's, that's what this setup is able to do here. And boom. Nice hit right after his shield. And pop. I got this guy. Wait, actually, I think he, uh, okay. He must have had the thing. Now I'm taking a lot of damage from... Uh, and he is locked. Fire. And that's it. Boom. Yep, got him. Nice. See, this is stuff you only do with a, uh, with a, uh, a Typhon robot. These type of things. Now we have a, a Hawk robot coming in. He's gonna land now, firing after him and boom. Wow. One tap. The guy is down in one hit. Holy smokes, man. All right, another map, ladies and gentlemen, and this time one where enemies love to hang around behind cover and then find themselves actually not that safe, like this guy. Boom! Um, no, other guys like hanging behind these steel platings and think they're safe, but then the vortex might be able to hit them, right? And that's what I'm trying to count on. That's a hawk right there starting to fly, all right. Okay, here we go. Pop. Locked and suppressed. Ability deactivated. Boom, down to last stand. And my buddy could take him down now if he wanted to. There it is. Nice. See, this is how it works with the Hawk and uh, with the Typhon robot here. Alright, getting him here. And pop. And boom. Down to last stand in one hit. And then trying to move away because I've seen us. Uh, a shell robot coming from the other side. And I don't want anything to do with that guy. Uh oh, he's even having a jump unit. Ow. Okay. And boom. Oh, wow. That was 300% damage. And you've seen that the shell robot almost destro got destroyed in one hit. That was pretty crazy. Ah, that's him. That's him again from the previous match. Is that another shell? Yeah, there's another shell coming. Problem is I can't actually hit him with the ability. Boom! Nice. That was a good hit on top on his head, uh, right bypassing his uh, his physical shields. But it's gonna be difficult to make another one such of such hits. All right. Oh, I got him hit and boom! Nice. And that's, that, that's the thing that only the Typhon robot can do, you know? So that's why it's so attractive to me to run this with a face shed with a vortex build. Alright. I hit him. His ability is deactivated. Okay, never mind. He already get, got deleted by somebody else. If the others didn't, have, didn't do it, then I would have done it now. 
Bup, 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 bup. Bam, 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 bam. Down to last stand. Nice. I got his ability deactivated and his weapon suppressed. Uppercut. Nice. I'm pl I'm playing this as a brawler. I think I'm like the only player who uh, who plays a vortex build also as a brawler. And oh oh I I did I hit him? I don't know. Uh, the vortex fly flew forward, then turned around and flew backwards again. Okay and. Boom. Uh-oh. Uh, and there goes two weapons already. Two weapons because it's money gaming. So here we are in the next match, ladies and gents, and it's Dead City. It is just one of the best maps for Vortex play. Power Plant is also very good. Uh, let's see what we can have coming here. It's a Nightingale over there. Uh, let's see if we can catch him before he starts flying his ability. Yep, fire and boom with double damage. Now, he's got something to heal now. He's got some HP that he needs to heal. So that's pretty cool. Somebody recognized me, Pilot Ramyan. Hey, man. So, uh, enemy Nightingale still in the air. Firing at the leech. Oh, unfortunately, the leech started leeching. That's very bad, because that means I just did some damage to one of my teammates. All right, let's keep the leech here. Oh, he face shifted. But I should still be able to hit him perfectly now. Boom! Yeah, almost. Almost a perfect hit. The guy got l really lucky that he was able to pull off his uh, uh, his ability there. All right. Uh, fire and oh man, forget it. Fast blitz robot, forget it. You can't hit that. You just can't hit that. But I need to take some damage. Maybe I should show myself a little more. There, Nightingale hit him. Fire. Oh my god, I made a mistake. Okay, boom, but I still I was still able to correct it. I should have pressed fire first and then face shifted. Not first face shift and then fire. That was a bit of a mistake right there. Bop and boom! Wow, that was absolutely nothing. Are you telling me you can't shoot over this tiny little gap? Bam! Got him. Fire and boom now. You can hit me, I need to take some damage here, buddy. Yeah, more. Oh, wait, actually, okay. Yep, that's too much. That is a bit too much for me now. Boom. Got him down to low health. Thankfully, I have a Nightingale with me. Maybe he's gonna give me some healing, I hope so. There was another Fanta Scorpion as well, somewhere. Somewhere where's another Scorpion who could jump on me at any moment. There he is. That's the guy, probably. He is taking a lot of damage from something, though. Bam, bam. Whoa, my Vortex followed him. My Vortex followed him over here. Nice, got him. So, gotten the Hawk there. Fire and activate. Double damage, tanks, and following up with a big hit after last stand. Oh, he was already in the air. Dang it. Okay, that hasn't worked. But maybe this guy, whatever this is. Oh, it's a Fender. Fire at him while he's landing. Boom. Nope. That still counted as resistance because he was still sliding down the road. Or the ramp, rather. And boom. He was still considered sliding down and not considered landed. And this is why this happened. Okay, that's it now, though. Let's see what we have here. 300% damage is quite a lot of damage. I got suppressed, or would have been, but I'm the Typhon robot. And those can't be suppressed by... I need to get this guy. Yep, got him. He was unable to use his ability. What do we have here? It's a Nodens in the distance. Uh oh, a Hellboner is coming. No, that's not a Hellboner. That's boom, 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 boom. That's a shell robot. Unfortunately, he's going to capture our beacon. There's not really anything I can do about it. Except trying to bomb him from above, which did work. He lost a lot of health there. And he didn't get the beacon. Nice. So, 
Here we go. Hit him. And then fire. Activating triple damage. Boom. Oh! Dude, I just... I just did 70% damage to this Noden because somehow the game counted a double hit. The game somehow counted a double hit, which it should not have happened. That was basically 600% damage right there. That was not supposed to happen. Boom. See, this is normal damage, and we just did six times that much. Because the game really screwed up and counted that uh, way too often, the damage. All right, fire at this guy. Boom. Wow, I think I think this guy just took a lot of damage. Yep, he's down to last stand after one freaking hit. Uh, okay, next target. Where is the uh, the Nodens? There it is. What about this guy? Pyam. Okay, and fire and kill. Boom! 300%. <laughs> he could not enter his transcendence mode and he was perfectly stationary. This is why you can do this much damage and this is why that particular setup is so interesting to me. Because only here... Do you have the ability to do these hits? Tang and boom. And that was only double damage, okay? And before we did triple damage and we doubled that triple damage somehow. Uh oh, I think that's a scorpion. Oh yeah, that is a scorpion, isn't it? No, it's a blitz robot, okay. Thank goodness it's not a scorpion. Okay, phew, got him. Nope, no, I couldn't get him because he actually has uh, anti-control. Yeah, that's a problem now. Already beginning to lose weapons here. Boom, I did a lot of damage, but I can't kill him. There's way too much health on that guy. But somebody's coming to help me, nice. Somebody's helping me with that. Can I help him back? I, I did some damage, but I was not able to kill him. Sing! And bap! Boom! Boom! And boom! Nice! Yeah! Vortex Typhon, dude! Uh oh. Oh god. Boom! Oh! Considering that this was a Fenrir, man, he just suffered. That guy. That guy's a one-hit kill for me. And... Phew! And bye-bye! Boom! I think he had a physical shield to one side and I hit the physical shield. Actually, wait, there is no physical shield. What happened there? I'm confused. I don't know what happened. First off, my, uh, my ability didn't hit him. This time I hit him, see? And now he's going down, quickly. Uh, this time my ability hit him. Meanwhile, the sniper was sniping the living crap out of me. And I couldn't sect up. Okay, that's it. He did not even have to retarget for this. Uh, we lost this match, but you know, you're not you're not the wedge match winner when you're running these type type of weapons. These weapons don't win you matches. These weapons provide you with fun. <laughs> and I think we didn't have too little of that in this match. Let's see how much damage we've done here. Three million. We actually ended up almost dealing the highest amount of damage in this team. Even though the enemy had a five people platoon right there. Uh, man, this is just fun. I really love this setup, dude. And it's the only thing that really allows Vortex to, to work like a dream. Alright, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Until next time, Money Signing, uh, signing off. Bye-bye.